Hi everyone, Ivan and Susan here from Vloggers, Vloggers on the Loose. Uh, today we're in the southern suburb of Baldivers in Perth, Western Australia. Now Baldivers is located about 46 kilometres south of the P Perth CBD and it's located in the city of um, Rockingham. It's about 11 k's from Rockingham. Now while Baldivers isn't on the coast, it's about a 10 minute drive to the nearest beach, being Waikiki Beach. Now about Baldivers is um, located just off the Quinana Freeway and it's about a 30, 35 minute drive into the Perth CBD so if you work in the CBD it's quite a it doesn't seem that far to get into the CBD and if you work in Mandra it's only about a 20 minute drive to Mandra south of um, Baldivis. Now Baldivis is quite an old area it started attracting settlers way back in the 1920s and there's a few interesting facts about Baldivers, how it got its name. It was actually named after three ships which travelled to Australia in the 1920s. Baldivers was actually named after three ships which travelled to WA in 1922, all arriving within about six weeks of each other. Now these three ships were these were the, this was their maiden voyage to WA, and they were all built in the same shipyard in the same year. Now the three ships, the names of these ships were Bal Ronald, Dio Jeans, and Jervis Bay, and that's how Baldivers got its name. But we'll put that on the screen for you to show you exactly how it happened, the way Baldivers actually got its name. Now the early settlers to Baldivers were actually attracted to the area by a thing called a group settlement scheme. Now group settlement scheme was actually a migration scheme that operated in Perth, Western Australia in the 1920s. Okay, so you might be wondering why I talked about the group scheme. Well, in the early days uh, a lot of the roads were actually named after numbers. I'm assuming these uh, migrants got a number from the scheme and uh, the roads were named after the numbers. Ex uh, for example, 50 Road and 68 Road, etc. Now a little bit about the public transport in Beldivers. Although it is a long way from the city, it does have public transport. You can catch the train into the city or you can catch buses that take you, takes you to Warnborough train station and that's probably about a 10 minute drive away from Baldivers. Now a little bit, bit about the education and schooling in Baldivers. There's about 11 schools in Baldivers and there are also plenty of schools in the surrounding areas. The first school in Baldivers was a primary school which opened in 1924. Now this school was actually classed as a bush school when it first opened. Okay, so a little bit about the shopping in the area. Baldivers has two shopping centres. One's located in the city centre or in the suburb centre and that comprises of Woolworths, Coles and the Kmart.
The other shopping centre is called Baldivers Square and that comprises of an IGA, a few cafes and a few retail outlets. Valdivers also has a number of sporting clubs in the area which comprises of um, football, soccer and cricket. There's also a number of different ovals in the area to accommodate these various sports. Okay, there are a couple of hospitals around the place. They're not actually in Baldivers, but the closest hospital is Rockingham, Rockingham Hospital, which is about a 15 minute drive away. And then if you go south, you've got the Peel Health Campus in Mandra, which is probably about a 20 minute drive away. Okay guys, we're in Baldivers in Perth, Australia. We're going to talk about some of the vacant land available over here. Now, um, we've talked about an estate called River Gardens by Cedarwoods. Now, the prices range from about 160 Australian, uh, 160,000 Australian dollars to 220,000 Australian dollars for land. Now, the size of these blocks are approximately Australian dollars. 
dollars to four hundred and eighty-five thousand Australian dollars. The sizes of the blocks in Valdivas grade the range from two hundred and fifty square meters to a whopping two thousand and ninety-four square meters. Hi guys, we're in Valdivas in Pedestal Avenue and we're at the Display Village over here and we're at a celebration home called the Pearson. Now this is a four bedroom, two bathroom home. It's 240 square metres of um, area and 188 square metres of living space. And um, as you can see, nice rendered uh, pillow over here the rendering by the way is included in the price and so is the color bond roof and you've got a nice little um, corner window over there which looks pretty cool and a bit of um, if you come around this way a um, bit of a um, bit of a timber feature over here which runs around the around the pillar over here the brick pillar which is under that so it's quite a nice looking house. We'll take you inside shortly to show you around.
Okay guys, thank you for watching our segment on bell divers. We hope you enjoyed it. And in the meantime, happy house hunting.